Hi, it's December 7th. This is the Daily Word. It's Father Barry and our opening prayer. O God, you made the Bishop St. Ambrose, a teacher of the Catholic faith, a model of apostolic courage. Raise up in your church men after your own heart and govern her with courage and wisdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. St. Ambrose, the big uh, man of the church, the Bishop of Milan, and he helps with the conversion of St. Augustine. So there's a great movie called Restless Heart. You should try to see that movie. It stars the story of Ambrose and Augustine. Really worthwhile. Made about maybe eight years ago. Uh, really worth your time if you can find get a handle on that. I own the movie myself. If you want to borrow it, I can get it to you. The word of the Lord now today. I'll go to Isaiah. Every day there's an Isaiah reading too. Last Yesterday I read the gospel. Today the book of Isaiah. And it's from Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hands of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. And then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken the word of the Lord. This time of the year there is the Messiah, uh, and it is a great uh, work of music, and it's based on verses out of Isaiah. And the verses that we just proclaimed today that are in the Tuesday uh, readings uh, very much are used by ha Handel in his great work. And they sing these lines with great passion as they ought to. Handel understood the dynamics of this passage of Isaiah 40. I don't know how many are going to be doing the works of the Messiah around the Washington DC area this year. Uh, but if you have an opportunity, you haven't seen it in a while, it's a good way to celebrate your Advent, your Christmas preparation. It really would be. Well, every mountain shall be laid low, or hills laid down, it's made flat. The rough ways made smooth. Uh, so Jesus comes. He is the Messiah that comes in a surprising way. And when he comes, everything kind of gets flipped over and here he is the humble shall be exalted you know the lowly shall be great you know those who claim to be all that will the proud shall be shall be humbled or brought down and the and the god will lift up and reward people that are not normally the ones singled out for that. God has a different agenda than the world does, and praise God for that. God is fair and just and loving and good, and he's most interested in bringing us home to himself. And so, thank you, God.